Hey everyone, this is your girl Soli Sims and we're doing a tutorial on how to help reduce lag whilst playing The Sims 4. And this is not something that I'm just pushing off off the top of my head. I actually had to ask several different persons over a course of uh, maybe a month or so um, different ways that can help me improve my gameplay because there was a bit of lag um, whilst I was playing. In the end, I did do all of those things and an additional step, which I went out and got a, um, an additional 4 gigs of RAM to bring my device up to 8 gigs of RAM just to help with it all. And I'm not asking you to go out there and get additional RAM or anything of the sort. I'm just telling you what worked for me. Um, but these steps that I'm going to tell you, these are things that I did before I actually went out to buy the additional RAM. So first things first, this is a multi-step tutorial. It's not going to be a one-off and you're done. This is going to take a little bit of time um, to get done and then you would need to occasionally update the tools that I'm going to ask you to get just to help with everything. Um, you know all around now we need to find out first of all whether or not our device can actually run the game um, of course we can go into origin and go into the details to find out what are the requirements of the of the game but um, to run the game but it's not necessarily needed because there is another way to find out whether or not we can actually run the game so first off we go into um, the start menu going to settings and about and it will tell you the type of device that you have um the processor and the install ram um so you have an idea of and a 64 the operating system so you have an idea of what it is that you're running with now i'm also um, going to go into can i run it this is a website that was suggested both by microsoft and another friend of mine to find out whether or not you can actually run the game on the device that you want to run it on. So um, this will tell you what is the minimum requirement, what is the recommended requirement and whether or not you can actually go ahead and run the game. So I'm going to go ahead and enter The Sims 4 and of course I will be linking the um, links to whatever sites websites that i sent you to in my description so we're going to go into eco lifestyle just because i mean why not so we're going to go into the eco lifestyle normally well because i already have this um because i already have the requirement it read my laptop from before it will tell me uh whether or not i can yes no whatever um it will ask you however if you want to download where is it where is it where is it? this this is called detection so it's going to um, ask you to download and install this that's fine it's just to help with um, reading your device so that it can tell you whether or not you can actually run the game so as you can see for the Sims 4 and then just equal lifestyle just the Sims 4 game on the whole I am able to run it at a minimum level but i'm not at the recommended level and that is okay that is completely fine it simply means that like i said my computer is an older one the the graphics card that i'm using um is not the recommended one but that doesn't mean that it doesn't work so guys it says here at the minimum requirements as you can see everything is ticked here for minimum requirements i do have a driver that is out of date over 26 months out of date so i need to sort that out as well but when it comes to the recommended it says that my video card um is not the recommended one it's asking for an nvidia and i have an intel rhd graphics 520 um it also says everything else here is correct it says that the dedicated video ram of 1024 megabytes is required and i only have 128 megabytes it and of course my, my cpu is not running at is um at the recommended or rather i don't have the recommended one i have um it's asking for an intel core i5 750 or an amd Athlon athlon x4 and i have an intel core i5 6200u cpu so everything else checks out I mean, I have enough space, I have this, the speed, etc. But I'm not running at the optimized um, 
or rather the recommended settings for it but that doesn't mean that i can't run the game um and this site of course you can use it for any other game that you you want to find out whether or not you can actually run on your device so we know that we can run the game on a minimum setting at least right um the other thing that i would suggest is ensuring that you have nothing running in the background whilst you're running the game that is of course um it could be the internet explorer the um, any of the any other game in the background or any other um apps in the background you should only be running the sims 4 now before i used to run um, before i started my game i would always restart my laptop and again that's just to help because i've noticed that in doing that it kind of reset everything and helps with um keeping everything as it should be going um the next best thing to do is to go when you get into origin you can go down to go offline playing offline will help your game run so much smoother guys so much smoother now if you're the type to want to um, upload your stuff into the gallery you can still go ahead and do that all you have to do is create your sim or create your build or whatever and when you're done playing or building you simply upload it up to the gallery it will ask you if you want to reconnect and you can connect and once again you will be able to um, connect to the gallery to do that Be going offline in origin does not mean that your internet is disconnected on your laptop it just means that you're going offline in origin so you should that should be able to um, assist a lot guys like a lot also it's good to ensure that you have your drivers up to date so i'm using a whole bunch of stuff from the iobit line the iobit software so i'm using a driver um booster 7 now as you can see guys in the can you run it it did say that i do have a graphics driver that is out of date and i will be sorting that out but off camera of course so this is the iobit.com um website and you can do everything you want to get everything for um a free download or if you want to go ahead and buy the the program i'm not gonna say no it is a good one you can go ahead and do that i do have the smart defrag as well as the iobit software uninstaller and um the updater as well it helps a lot um in terms of ensuring that everything is running as it's supposed to be i also have the iobit malware fighter that's just show you how much of a good um deal this is uh, this app is and um i suggest everybody should get it i also have um the sims for studio and the reason why i have the sims for studio is for those cc files guys now another thing that will cause extreme lag in your game is the number of mods and cc that you have i would suggest like i have here i have my backup files i i renamed it sims 4 plus but i have all my old saves my um cc my um tray files in here on my desktop the same with um the mods and my mods holder i have two different i separated them just to make things easier for me um in regards to in regards to um ensuring that i always have a backup of the stuff that i have now um i have a lot of like for example if you do a lot of the simberlin stuff there's not stuff that you use every single day after all halloween is only once yeah so i put all my halloween cc stuff in a folder i my lp stuff if i'm not going to use it for regular gameplay i put it in separate folders and i put it on a side on um and until i'm i actually need to use it then i put it into my my folder this all of these things guys helps reduce the amount of time it would take not just to load the game but to actually help run the game as well um so yes basically that is it now um in the task manager if you go into details more details you will see in your performance whether or not your um how well rather your device is running and how much of your memory is being used up which is right now it's at 757 percent which is pretty good it's not bad at all considering um the stuff that i have in the background now um 
what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to use your CC cleaner guys to clean up anything you have um, it's, you can just do an easy clean and you can just analyze it will analyze whatever temporary files etc that you may have a uh, junk a lot of junk um, mail as well not mail sorry guys <laughs> a lot of junk that um, would need cleaning etc um, and that would help optimize your device you do need to have a very good device for you to be able to um, run the game so it's going to go ahead and do a cleanup of that and I just want to show you something else guys so when you go into your game itself now um, you will see well you will need to get into the gallery and the good thing about the gallery is that it saves every single thing that you upload to the gallery so that means you don't actually need it in your game library let's just hop into game and you will see what I mean okay so here we are in the game and guys we're going to go straight into the gallery I have already set it to be offline as you can see it says you need to be online to see trending hashtags and that's okay because we don't going in there anyway I am going into my library in game now these are just some things that I recently uploaded I or rather I recently added you will need to also include whatever custom content um, sims that you have not sims just cast whatever you have in your gallery basically and guys i only have a handful um but i'm going to go ahead and delete these because these are things that i don't use anymore so i have no use for them i do use her and him okay but anyway guys what i mostly have here is um rooms that i that are debug debug rooms that's all that i really keep in my library nowadays as well as um stuff off of the gallery just for to make things easier for me to grab everything else goes on uploaded into um the gallery and i don't really need them okay I can delete this one because I have someone I have the same thing I have a repeat over here but it's good to be able to go in and see what it is that you actually want etc etc as you can see there is this witchy cottage I don't know I just can't it says it's I cannot look at the item and that's okay I just need to go find it another way which I will show you guys in a little while so I'm going to take this up as long as it shows that it is um, rem it is uploaded to the gallery then it's fine that means it's saved I do not need it in my library because these things will accumulate and stay in the tray files in the sims 4 folders and guys from 2014 to 2020 that's six years of things that you really don't use all the time that's just loaded up in the in the tray file that you don't need so I'm going to minimize this um, and just show you guys quickly I'm going into the Sims 4 you have it here but you can go it where you'd normally find it is in your documents in electronic arts in the Sims 4 and here you will find a whole bunch of things that you actually don't really need the screenshots you can take it out and put it on the side um, if you don't need what's in there because all of these are JPEGs and they're most likely high resolution and you don't really need them you do need however um to go into your tray files and you will see that you have stuff from well these are stuff from today earlier this week and then the last whenever it was that you did so you guys can see you have quite a lot a lot a lot of stuff that's just backed up in there um and again when you delete it in your um registry not, sorry not registry in your library it will be deleted out of the tree folder another thing you can do is to do a soft reset of the sims 4 where you take off all your um you go in and you take out you make copies of your saves your mods your tray files you can drag it out onto your um desktop you can rename it or whatever and you delete the sims 4 file you go back into um the game you open up your game rather and it will generate a new 
clean clear um seams for folder and then you can drag your stuff back in there so you don't lose your months you don't lose your saves or anything you have up in the gallery in regards to your tree files that does help to um make things easier whilst running your game i do have the um since for studio like i said this is what i use to compact my um cc i have a lot of cast cc i have more cast cc than i do um uh build cc and especially from praline sims i just love her stuff so i have a whole bunch of her things and what i did was i compressed everything just to make it into one package instead of many many packages um, um let me see if i can show you what i mean right here right so instead of having like all of these different packages i can simply just ha have it um as one package in the sims 4 studio i'm going to go in and i'm going to show you what i mean when i do that okay guys so we're in the sims 4 studio and you go into content management and you go into merge content now um, this is the file my mods folder over here I'm going to simply take all of these or you can just you can add remove however but I'm going to just highlight all of these and drag it over here and I'm going to choose to merge it so it's going to make all of these into one package file and I'm going to put it in my downloads just save it to my downloads oh sorry um, I need to name it so I'm going to name it praline eyebrows this is just for test because I already have it like this in my game so it's going to go ahead and just um, it's con it merged 21 packages um, I don't need this anymore and here it is so you can simply take this and drag it into your mods folder so now you have 21 packages in one which makes it so much easier for you to be able to run your game i hope this helps somebody out there trying to get the game to just be a little bit less laggy but i would suggest everything like i said from iobit um from the iobit firm or whatever just to um, ensure that you have everything running as optimized as it can be on your device let me know if you tried any of these out and how it worked out for you in the comment section below and if you like the video make sure that you click that little thumbs up leave the comments on whether or not it worked for you and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't as yet and i will see you again guys in my next video goodbye